today is kind of a sad day. My junk tech shunt that I've used over the years to do almost all the capacity tests on the batteries has finally went to the junk tech graveyard in the sky. Now, here's a little backstory. I've abused this thing. I've shorted it out on several occasions and I've actually had to open it up and repair traces and fix things. So I can't really say that, well, it just died spontaneously. I think I just kind of beat it up a lot. Uh, but luckily, we did get a brand new shunt from Junk Tech. This is their new KH140F. I think a couple months ago, they asked me if I wanted to review it. I said, absolutely. And so I hadn't gotten around to it. Well, I guess today we're gonna get around to it because this is going to have to be my new shunt for capacity test. Let's open it up. We got a quick start guide. And this one has Bluetooth, so there's an app to download. Uh, a little positive wire and some big old copper lugs. It looks like temp sensors and just some random wires that we're gonna have to use, I guess. I think this is the wire that goes to the display. And this is the actual shunt. And it's a big boy. That's a large shunt. How many amps is this? I don't know how many amps this supports. It seems like it's gonna be a lot because that's a huge shunt. Okay, I think it's 400 amp. This looks like the box that I that I got. I get, and it looks like they have a 600 as well. A, four, a 100, a 400, and a 600. I think I got the 400. I believe this is the little control box. So uh, the display will connect into here. The, presumably the, sh yeah. The current sensor or the shunt part will hook into here. And it looks like it has some output controls, like you could control some external devices. Temperature sensor and then uh, the voltage sense plugs in there. And then we got the display. I, I think this actually can work without the display, so you don't even have to use the display. You can just use the, the app, I think. I like these clicky buttons much better than what was on this guy, these are just kind of non-clicky, touchy buttons. It has a nice flush mount, so you could cut a hole for this to fit right in. Uh, if it's a thin, thin material that you're putting it in, it actually snaps in. If not, it has some screw holes. And of course, you could just like put some silicone in, on it and stick it in. All right, what I'm thinking is I'm gonna take this piece of board and then we're gonna mount, we're gonna mount, uh, all the components to it, probably something like that, and mount some cables and everything to where this will be basically a self-contained unit to where I can use it for capacity testing. Oh, and by the way, happy Father's Day, guys. I wanted to tell you, Energizer, let me know. They have an event going on, and this is like 80 or $90 off. So I think you can get this for $1.99 right now. So if you're interested, I'll put the link to their event. That way you can grab this if you want. Uh, also, you, I'll put the link to the video I did on this. All right, guys, I had a little bit different idea. That other board, I felt like it was just too much room. I didn't need all the space. So I'm gonna do something like this board right here to hold the display. And then I cut that angle so I could angle it back like so. And I'll put the big shunt back here and the display up front. And yes, I actually do have a table saw, but it would take me longer to get the table saw out of storage than it was for me just to set this little jig up and cut that, that angle by hand. But look, it's perfectly good. All right, so it's assembled. We'll put the shunt back here, a screen up here. I'll drill the hole for the cable to go through because I'm just going to set the screen uh, flush here. And I wanted to find some wood stain, but I didn't really have anything great except for this old blue die. So what the heck, we're going to use it. All right, so there we go. We got it uh, stained blue. And on the back side, I mounted the shunt sensor here, the uh, main control module there. I think I might eventually trim this cord down and put a new end on it. I don't need that much, but it'll tuck right there for now. 
and then we've got the uh, screen right there on the front. And we've got a nice little space right here for a sponsor. <laughs> so what we need to do now is build up uh, the cables. I'm going to use these two gauge number two Timco welding cable. And we're going to use our hydraulic crimpers to put the terminals on the end. Look at that beautiful crimp. If you haven't already got you a set it, grab these. There's less than 40 bucks. I'll put links in the description. All right, guys, it's complete. Everything's wired up in the back. I've got it wired into this inverter, and we're gonna wire it into this Power Queen mini battery. And we're gonna run a capacity test like I usually do and make sure everything's working. So let's hook it up, and hopefully sparks won't fly. Oh, cool, it looks like the screen came on. So no sparks. Oh, that's a very nice looking screen. It's a little larger than the previous one. Gorgeous screen. I love it. We're going to plug in the AC air conditioner for the load and turn on the inverter. We're pulling a little bit of power. We need to turn the AC on. There we are. We're pulling 10, 10 amps right now. That'll go up. I think maybe 25, 30 amps. All right, we're gonna just let this run. So we're showing we're down to 1% left. So far so good. One of the things that I do notice is that it's, it doesn't display the watt hours on the screen like the uh, other one does. So maybe that's in the app. So after this is complete, we'll take a look at the app. I also see that it has a record function as well. So I think that there's definitely a lot of functionality that I'm going to have to explore in this shunt uh, that wasn't there in the previous model that I was using. Okay, so it shows that we're at zero in the battery. However, we're still taking out, uh, we're still counting down some amp hours here. So that's a little bit different. The previous one, whenever, uh, I think whenever this got down to zero, the amp hour was always was also zero so when this goes down to zero I'm gonna assume uh, is it gonna go negative okay so that's the full capacity of the battery okay so it's not actually going to show us what's left okay I'm gonna turn off the AC yeah because with my old shunt I was able to see what it would continue on pulling you know if it was a hundred and if the discharge was 103 amp hours, I would see that, but uh, I'm not seeing it on this screen. Oh, you can actually set the time. Oh, that's neat. You can set a time when you uh, for different brightness levels. So, like if it's at nighttime, you might want to actually uh, lower that or even have it off. Yeah, there's just a there's a ton of stuff here. You know, let's try the app. Oh, okay. So the 
Android is not on the App Store. You have to actually go to this download link. Yeah. Uh, so when it downloaded, it downloaded as a .apk.zip file. And so I renamed it to .apk. I took the zip off. Let's see if it'll, yeah, I think it'll work now. Because before it didn't work, it actually just tried to unzip it. Okay, now it's open. Okay. So there it is. It says we discharged 1.28 kilowatts. That's correct. There's no remaining amp hours. Uh, let's see if we turn on inverter. Okay, shows we're using like 33 watts. Yeah, pretty neat. Uh, it'll ch it'll chart uh, voltage curves, so you can come in here and set your capacity of your battery, uh, what the current state of charge is. Yeah, it's definitely a neat shunt. I, I like it. I think I'm not totally happy with it as a replacement for my old one, though. There's no doubt this would be a better shunt for monitoring your battery system. There's no doubt about that. But for testing batteries, for testing capacity testing, this one actually was better because it showed me how many amp hours were totally discharged. It also showed me the watt hours and everything, uh, whereas I don't, I'm missing some of that here. All right, guys, I think that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this content, as always, please like and subscribe. And that, that really helps out the channel a whole lot. And I hope you guys had a great Father's Day. And I'll catch you on the next one.